All right, let's take a look at another type of problem using this first derivative test. And, you know, in the prior couple examples, we've had an actual function that we've taken the derivative of and set equal to zero to come up with the sine chart. So here's another example that you have to be uh, able to deal with where you were given a graph of f prime and asked certain questions about that. So again, I want to stress that this is the graph of f prime. This is not the graph of f, okay? This is the graph of f prime. So from this graph, you should be able to determine certain things about f. So for instance, number one says, where is f increasing? And I didn't write it out. I probably should have, should have said identify the x intervals where x is increasing. So we talked about in previous um, examples that f is increasing when f prime is greater than zero. Okay, when f prime is positive, that's key. We got to know that. Okay. So what we're looking for here, we're looking at our graph right here, and we're trying to determine where is f prime greater than zero. So the, when I say where is f prime greater than zero, where are the y values of f prime? prime greater than zero. So we're looking where is f prime above the x-axis, okay? So that happens from negative infinity. It hits zero at a, but it, you know, doesn't cross the axis, and then it remains positive all the way up until zero, okay? So f prime is positive all the way from negative infinity up to zero, you know, barring that little um, glitch there at a where it's equal to zero, but still the graph increases the whole time because the idea of what happens is the graph f increases, increases at a, all of a sudden has a slope of zero, and then it continues to increase. So, you know, if you look from left to right, right, the values of x are always getting larger. So at a, the graph is actually increasing. So anyways, uh, I don't want to take away from this here. And then again, oops, I forgot to label this. I should have put d right there, okay? And then again, it starts increasing right here. If you look at after d, um, f prime again is positive. So again, the key, f increasing, when f prime is greater than zero. f prime is greater than zero when it's above the x-axis. So the answer would be from negative infinity to zero and from d to infinity. Okay. Where is f decreasing? f is decreasing when f prime is negative. Okay, so we're looking, where is f prime below the x-axis? Where is the values of f prime negative? Okay, so the, y, the values of y prime, f prime are negative when it's below the x-axis, okay? So that would be from zero up until d. So from zero to d. That's where f is decreasing. And again, f is decreasing when f prime is negative. The values of f prime are negative when it's below the x-axis. We're looking again at the y values of f prime, okay? Where does f have a relative max? f has a relative max when f prime changes from positive to negative, okay? When f prime changes from positive to negative. So, what we're looking for here is, you know, is there any place where the graph of f prime goes from a positive y value to a negative y value, or you can think of from above the x-axis to below the x-axis. And I notice that happens right here at zero. To the left of zero, f prime is positive. To the right of zero, f prime is negative. Again, I'm not looking for the slopes of this graph. I'm looking at the actual values of it, okay? So in this case, there would be a relative max at x equals 0. And if I were asked to justify, it would be since f prime changes from positive to negative at x equals 0. Okay. Now, if, if you're having a tough time wrapping your head around this graph and how I was able to connect this graph to getting this, sometimes I've seen it helpful for people to use this graph to make a first derivative sign chart. Okay, so let me just show you how you can do that if you're having a tough time getting this going here. So, on my first derivative sign chart, I put where f prime equals zero. So that would be a, okay, at zero, and a d. Okay, that's, that's where the y value of f prime is zero. So then I just look. Well, to the left of a, f prime is above the x-axis. It has positive y values. Put a plus right there. In between a and zero, okay, f prime's above the x-axis. <clears throat> Again, positive values. Put a plus there. In between zero and d, okay, f prime is below the x-axis, so it's a negative. Put a negative right there. And then from d on to infinity, f prime is above the x-axis, so it is positive. It's not a very nice looking D. So, I could use this to answer my questions. Again, where is F increasing? Look to see where is F prime 
positive, you know, from negative infinity to zero and from d to infinity. Okay, where is f prime decreasing? Where f is negative from zero to d. Where does f have a relative max? Well, that's where f prime changes from positive to negative. That happens at zero, positive to negative. So, just another way of looking at that.